Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I would like to introduce you to some of the heroes who were told by viewers that they were easy to turn around. When playing against opponents with superior overall strength, you can turn the tables by including the heroes I am about to introduce in your team composition. First up is the critical hit inducing duo of the Sebastian and Jet. With Jet in your team, all 5 heroes on the battlefield will benefit from Jet's skill number 4, allowing them to perform critical hit attacks. In addition, when Sebastian's skill number 2 is activated, the chance of a critical hit is amplified for 5 seconds, increasing the frequency of critical hits. When you hit a critical hit, the physical attack power of the first activation of the skill is amplified to about double, allowing you to fight on equal terms with opponents who are superior in overall strength. Critical hits do not always occur, and if you miss the chance draw, you will not get a critical hit, so you may lose to a lower ranked team. Uncertainty depending on probability is a double-edged sword that can be a good thing or a bad thing, but in the case of a good thing, it is a good combination that allows you to comfortably beat a higher ranked team. The next one will be ODH, short for Orion Dorian Helios. With a certain amount of power, you can beat a higher ranked team if you get into it right, but it's not a stable team composition because you never know who Orion's attack will hit. As a side note, to further strengthen Orion's fast attack ability, there is a way to link Orion with his pet Merlin. When Orion and Merlin are paired, the speed at which Orion's skills are stored will increase by up to 50%, allowing him to launch missile attacks so often that it's laughable. Now, I've lined up 4 heroes who are easy to turn around. Faceless, Morrigan, Dorian, and Yurgen represent the 4 heroes that have the highest chance of causing an upset. Each of these 4 heroes may be weak on their own, but they all have their own special winning patterns that can be very powerful when they get it right. Faceless, you can double back your opponent's magic, or if you're using a set with Kark, you can copy Kark's skill number 1 and it will look like Kark attack twice. Faceless has the disadvantage that copying the first skill of a physical attack hero is useless, so it lacks stability. Morrigan, if it's a crowded game, you can turn your opponent's hero into a zombie and absorb more and more attacks, so that the enemy attacker, who has a higher attack power per hit, struggles with the zombie and runs out of time. Alternatively, the zombies summoned by Morrigan early in the game can be used to target magical heroes behind the enemy team. Dorian. When the opponent pushes back, all allies may be given the vampirism ability, which may turn a losing game upside down. Dorian has the property of granting the vampirism ability to heroes around him. This can be a great way to turn the tables when the enemy team has you in a corner of the battlefield and your heroes are squeezed together. Jurgen. By leveling up your Jurgen so that his HP does not grow, you will be able to save your skills quickly even if your opponent attacks. Jurgen is a fast activating hero so keeping his HP low will allow him to activate his first skill before the enemy team, greatly delaying the enemy team's first skill activation. What do you think? In recent years, more and more people are combining various heroes to fight, and a wider range of knowledge is required than before. As I am gradually gaining new knowledge, I will continue to compile such useful information in my videos and share them with my viewers. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.